guys, Laura Sanko here for one-on-one. -on -one. I've got Paul Kalenda with me as always. Uh, today, we're gonna demonstrate a dar stroke setup from the front headlock. I guess a defense to being in the front headlock and you're gonna set up your own dar. It's a pretty cool little transition. So, like I said, we start out, uh, Paul has this very common position on me. Um, and obviously, a lot of times what you wanna do is you're gonna sit out and look to take the back. But in this particular instance, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna sit out and keep control of this elbow as I sit out. But I wanna sit out really, really uh, far, almost to where I'm gonna be perpendicular with him and I end up like this. Once I get here, you're gonna to wanna to establish control of the wrist at the same time as I start to set up this dart. So I'm gonna reach back with my left arm here, shove this through here. I got my dart swapped up and then I'm gonna to look to sit up to my side left the leg and finish. So obviously one of the biggest things is you're putting yourself in a position to potentially get bulldog choked. So you gotta be really careful about that wrist control when you sit through. But of course I'm doing it very slowly. And if you did it punchy, it'd be hard to, to find that choke in transition. So starting off here, I've got control of this elbow. I'm gonna sit all the way through here, grab wrist control, start setting up my control of the head here. I want to shove this elbow as I turn in, find my choke, sit through, grab a leg, and finish. Ah. All right, so we start here, obviously gain control of the elbow. We sit out, grab the wrist, here, shove this under, come here, sit through, grab a leg, and finish your horse. Ah. Biggest thing is just sitting through super hard getting your body perpendicular, and then that transition to kind of looking backward from the, for the darts, because it's kind of a strange angle compared to at least what I'm used to setting up, because I would normally be using my other arm if I was on top of him, but it's a cool little cool little transition setup. Anything you want to add? Oh, that's good. Hook the head, always hook the head. Yeah. That way you can't head up and you can't get out. Yes, that, hook the head. She did a great, great job at hooking the head and pulling it in to her. Yeah, and then wrist control, when you do finally sit out, definitely control that wrist so they can't continue to reach behind. So that's it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks guys.